31, I had a question coming out of section 2.7, number 41. And here we were asked to graph the two lines on either side of this inequality and, and solve this inequality graphically. So I wanna, I'll, I'll totally solve it graphically, but I just wanna show you how this would play out algebraically. So let me just do a little algebraic stuff here. If I had 1 half x plus 1 is greater than 1 half x minus 5, what I could do is I could subtract that half x from both sides. And when I do that, these are going to cancel here. And this would give me 1 is, one is ugh, I can't use my words, 1 greater than negative 5. And I want to point out this is always true. The number 1 is greater than negative 5. So what this is saying is since I'm arriving at something that's inherently true, that means no matter what I plug in for these x values here, this inequality will be true. So that's going to tell you that your, your solution here is going to be all real numbers. But let's play this out graphically. So let's look at the left side of this inequality and look at the line here, y equaling 1 half x plus 1. I see a slope of 1 half and a y-intercept at 0, 1. And let me color code this, and let's look at the second part of this inequality on the right here, and we'll look at y equaling 1 half x minus 5. I see the slope for this line is 1 half, and the y-intercept is 0, negative 5. Okay, so something that I am noticing, right, I see that these lines have the same slopes. So right out the gate, I, I can see that these lines are parallel. So that's just something I want to mention. Parallel, there we go. Right, we learned that when lines have slopes with the same values, their lines are parallel. Whereas when we have lines whose slopes are opposite reciprocals of one another, they're perpendicular. All right, but let's take a look at, I'll graph this one first, right? I start at my y-intercept at 0, 1. I go up 1 over 2. Up 1 over 2. And I can do this as long as I want. I can even go down 1 and then to the left 2. But you can see that line forming. And same with the orange line, right? Now I start here down at 0, negative 5. That's my y-intercept, up 1 over 2. Great, up 1 over 2. And you can see that these lines are parallel. If we go back to the original inequality, they're trying to say, hey, when is this purple line or blue line greater than the orange line? And the thing is, the purple line is always above the orange line, right? So this line, oops, let me circle it. The purple line is always above the orange line, meaning, and I'm going to erase that just so we have a little bit more, it's not quite too crowded, um, quite crowded on the graph, excuse me. So if I were to draw any x value here, I'm going to try and make that around x equaling 7, just just because. I want you to see, and I'll, I'll go ahead and again change colors, that the y value here, which is, I don't know, around 4.5, something like that, is greater than the y value here, right? The purple is always greater than the orange, meaning I don't care what value of x you put in, the purple side will always be greater than the orange side, right? This is, again, it's showing you that all real numbers are the solution here. So the blue graph is the equation for y equaling 1 half x plus 1. Orange, we said, 1 half x minus 5, and the blue graph is always above the orange graph. So the solution is all real numbers. All right, thanks so much. Bye.